We had a uh, crisis on our hands and we're headed into bankruptcy. While I respect all previous administrations, uh, sometimes the can was kicked down the road. Mayor Suttle isn't one to kick the can very much. That was real important to him to get the house in order. Because don't forget we were in the middle of a crisis where everybody's property values went down. When the property values go down, the property tax revenue goes down. Mayor Suttles had to make some very difficult decisions in a very difficult time for a lot of us. He renegotiated the pensions that were going to be payable to the firemen and the policemen. And as a result, the credit agencies were prepared to take our rating up which of course means our interest rate would go down on the debt we borrow. Either we uh, closed every library, park, swimming pool, lake, golf course in the city and still laid off police and fire, or we buckled down and added the revenue streams in to strengthen our city and keep the services in place. The restaurant tax, while it was unpopular when it was introduced, it was one of the factors that got our city out of debt and put us back in the black. I, I, every restaurant owner I know, they are having record years. Now we don't have to worry our, about our bond rating. Uh, the city's got a, a AAA rating now. We're saving hundreds of millions of dollars by just changing our credit rating. Here's a community that's ready to move forward. Uh, the Cancer Research Center, UNMC, uh, the new proposed Marriott 350 room hotel downtown, uh, which gets us into another level of convention business. His face is always in the place. Always. If the sign of new clients that I'm getting on a daily, weekly basis is the sign of a strong economy, it's really doing well here in Omaha. You know, when, when uh, people try to discredit Subtle and some decisions that he's made, I really have to say, you know, what, what angle are you looking at? Is it from a self angle or is it an Omaha angle? I think a four-year term is not enough time. These are long-term projects. This is nothing, um, you can't promise something overnight because it's not going to happen overnight. I made those tough decisions when I had to. I looked forward, I didn't look backward. I knew there would be consequences on some of them, but we stabilized our revenue. That was the key. That's what Moody's and Standards and Poor kept telling me over and over and over. Mayor, You've done a lot on the spending side. You've solved the spending problems, but your problem is revenue. 75% of your problem is no revenue. We fixed it. I personally don't want to start all over from scratch, not knowing what we, what we could possibly be getting ourselves into when we have such, um, when, we, when right now we have such a momentum. You know how you take, you know, like the little train that starts off slow, goes, and now it's starting to speed up a little bit. Got that's how I feel. I feel like, okay, we waking up, the city's waking up, and he and his part, and he's he's behind that. He has something to do with that optimism, with that, um, with that spirit, with that spirit of giving, with that spirit of uh, moving forward. It's just so, our mayor is doing doing good work, and I totally support him.